Hey, YouTubers, Facebookers, and Instagrammers, thought I would make a little short video today. A couple of little things to remember if you've got yourself a new little cocker or springer pup even. Thank you, Mr. Cockerel. In the early days, it's so easy to accidentally stand on your puppy. Their spatial awareness, especially at eight weeks, tends to be really, really poor. So when I'm working with my clients, um, one of the things that I'm always trying to get people to do, when they first take out their puppy, each time in the morning or during the day at each of their let outs that they're gonna be doing. In that first two weeks, when you plonk them down, I want you to keep moving around your garden because it's really important that the dog moves because that's what will help stimulate it to go to the toilet. At the same time though, you need to be walking around like a bit of a spaceman because you'll think you'll know where your puppy is and then suddenly you'll turn around and you'll be stood on it. And it's not a very pleasant experience for you or the dog for that to happen. So in that first couple of weeks, be really, really cautious the way that you move around in your garden. The other thing is I wait to interact with them until they've finished, and this is the key point, and moved away from where they've been. Then I'll drop down and fuss them. It doesn't take much in a little puppy to stop them a going or going halfway through uh, their toilet. So I want them to finish and move away before I then drop down and fuss them. That's really, really important. Once you get to about 10 weeks, their spatial awareness is a lot, lot better. So it's a lot easier to deal with them then. Sort of flips on its head at this point. Now, this is something that I work with on my, with my online clients an awful lot. We look at people's gardens, what their area is like. And some people might have a new build property which has a very small, boring footprint. But actually that's perfect for your cocker. You want enough space for the dog to run around, but not enough space for the dog to monkey you around. And the problem is if you've got an older style property where the house is a lot bigger, you're probably gonna find that um, there'll be lots of nooks and crannies and hedges, flower borders for your dog to dive in. And the problem is, is that your dog will pick up bad habits quicker than you will be able to train to avoid those habits. So as irritating as it might be, I encourage all my clients, if they can, if the circumstances are right, to effectively pen off an area for that dog that could last 18 months. So it might be a little bit of cost and expense and hassle. The other flip side of this is, and every week I hear of somebody's dog that has swallowed something it shouldn't have done, is that these dogs are really prone and annoyingly very often pick up things and swallow them that they shouldn't have done. I've heard of everything from pins through to peach stones through to socks, J cloths, anything the dog can get in its mouth, it will swallow potentially. And especially in the garden, if the garden's quite complex and there's a lot of things going on, they're in your flower borders, they're picking stuff up. You're then trying to get hold of them to get it out of their mouth and then it becomes a Benny Hill sketch. And by the time you're at six months, you have a really terrible toilet routine because the dog has just had lots of opportunities to do things um, that could have been avoided. Once you've had a trip to the vets that's cost you a thousand pound or 1500 quid, that couple of hundred quid fence will feel like a very, very cheap option. Uh, my job at the beginning is more about trying to avoid things developing rather than fixing things if I can avoid it. So if you're thinking about getting a pup or you've got a pup and you're noticing the dog starting to monkey you about in the garden or not be responsive, your best option is if you can, and it is only temporary in the sense that you might have it up for a year, 18 months, but you can ultimately take it down. But if your dog gets in lots of bad habits and you don't act on them correctly, then you can have lots of issues. And then most of them could have been avoided by just putting in a, a, in a penned area. And I'm, what I'm normally talking around is 15 to 20 feet squared. So not very, very big. Anyway, I hope this has been some use to you. If you want any help with online training, let me know. Go through to my Facebook page, Hampshire Spaniel Training. Send me a message there. I'll do my best to help you.